Produced on Viracon's Owatonna, Minnesota campus and St. George, Utah campus, this production plant tour will cover glass fabrication processes such as cutting, tempering, silk screening, coating, laminating, special fabrication, and insulating. The float glass is delivered to Viracon, unloaded, and stored until it's ready to be cut down to the custom sizes. Most glass is then subjected to a heat treating process in order to provide greater resistance to thermal and mechanical stresses. The first step is seaming the glass edges. Then the glass is transported through a furnace and heated. Upon exiting the furnace, the glass is rapidly cooled by blowing air uniformly onto both surfaces simultaneously. After the glass is heat treated, there are a number of inspections to ensure quality guidelines are met. When specified, tempered glass is placed into the heat soak oven and heated in an attempt to reduce potential breakage from impurities in the glass known as nickel sulfide inclusions. In order to improve the thermal and optical performance characteristics, the glass is run through a coater. Either a reflective or low-E coating is sputtered onto the second surface of the glass. Every 20 to 30 minutes, the quality department verifies color and uniformity of each coating type. Silkscreen is a process of applying a specific design or pattern to glass. The design is made by placing a screen over a piece of glass and then pressing ceramic frit, by means of a large squeegee, through the pores of the screen. After the frit is applied, the glass goes through an infrared oven to dry the frit and then through a tempering furnace to fire the frit to the glass permanently. Spandrel glass has a ceramic frit rolled onto the entire surface of one side of the glass and is fired onto the glass during the heat treating process. Since the basic purpose is to render the glass opaque, it is used for non-vision areas. Laminated glass consists of two lights of glass and one or more layers of polyvinyl butyl, also known as PVB. The glass and PVB are pressed together and go into the autoclave, where heat and pressure permanently bond them together. In the special fabrication department, glass is run through various equipment in order to grind or polish the edges of the glass. It then gets transferred to another process to have notches, holes, or mail slots cut out. An insulating glass unit consists of two lights of glass enclosing a hermetically sealed airspace. The coated light has the coating removed from the edges before being sealed. The lights are held apart by a spacer, which contains a moisture absorbent material called desiccant that serves to keep the enclosed air free of visible moisture. It is then dual sealed with a primary seal of polyisobutylene and a secondary seal of silicone. The glass is then boxed or placed on a rack and brought to the warehouse to be loaded onto a truck and delivered from one of Viracon's three locations to the customer.